Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. I hope you're fantastic today. Thank you for being here. So I got the card of release your ex for your love reading. So this is about the time has come to clear your energy. So some of you could be carrying around negative energy or old energy with you from old relationships that you need to release. I was also thinking Aries individuals could be mostly the warrior who likes to chase unattainable people or unavailable people. I don't want to say stalker, <laughs> but I think it's like the energy of the warrior where you're on, you're chasing someone. It's, you're trying to conquer someone. So I would ask for you to look up your moon because whatever your moon is, that is what's going to be satisfying to your soul. So if you have an Aries moon, then obviously you're a warrior. Um, but um, <clears throat> if you have, you know, any other sign, check your moon and see what, what sign is that. And that would be how you're going to be satisfied. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Or if you're a true Aries, like you have Aries Sun, Aries Moon, Aries Mercury, you could go after someone, conquer someone, and then you're quickly bored with that person, and then you want to conquer someone else. So, and that could be why you're single, because you're not comfortable with just staying in a situation. So, let's see what we're getting for you, Aries, for your love reading. Okay, Tower, Ten of Cups. Okay. Um... So something is going to surprise you a lot, like a shock, like huge, like the tower is Mars Pluto. So it's a big shock. What is this big shock for Aries? A water sign, someone showing love or compassion. And what is this energy? Page of Swords. You could get some challenging information or some news or gossip. Let's see. Somebody could be watching you or spying on you. Four of Cups. Not interested. There's an Earth sign here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So what, are, what else are we getting here? This could be someone who rejected you in the past. Three of Wands. You're waiting. You're anticipating. You could be ignoring. You could be turning your back on this situation. Someone's coming towards you with a knight of water. Wow. Chariot. They're very determined to come towards you. They're very determined to come forward. Okay. We have a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a four of swords, possibly someone you haven't spoken to. Three of coin. Somebody wants to work something out with you, get together with you. Um, the moon, hidden feelings. Someone has hidden feelings for you. It could be that they've been watching you. Um, let's see. Eight of swords. Somebody's worried. Okay, Queen of Waters here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and somebody returning to you or moving on, moving away. What is the Ten of Cups about here for Aries love life? Knight of Fire, Queen of Coin. Somebody could be a player. I mean, there could be travel for someone here, but there could be someone who's a player. Um, they're not committing to one person. What is the chariot here? Okay, news coming in fast. And what is the knight of cups? Three of swords. Okay. Queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the energy of an emperor. Somebody who wants to be the boss, in control. Um, the leader, the divine masculine. Seven of cups, confusion or choices. Somebody here coming in quickly with an urgent message. Seems like drama. Release your ex. 
clear your energy. So Mars and Saturn, there is passion. So there's someone who's very passionate here in the in the situation. So Aries is ruled by Mars, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn, Mars, Pluto, um, Neptune, they're malefics. They're the darker energies, the shadow side of the self. The warrior is the fighter. Um, Saturn is the disciplinarian. So you're naturally inclined to fight for something. Um, and that could be arguments. That could be fighting with people. Power struggles, struggles for control. It can also be, like I said, the chaser. Like you want to chase something. There's something here that is shocking you about an, uh, something that where you're reaching out to someone. It could be a water sign around you. There is something here. You're wanting to show compassion, but you're in a three of wands. You've already made a choice to wait for another ship to arrive, perhaps. The person is in the chariot. They're very determined to come towards you or very determined to move on. Whatever it is, they're very maybe stubborn. Could be a cancer. Your energy is, there could be a fire sign around you. Your energy is strong with the emperor. So you're wanting to be the boss. You're wanting to be in charge in some way. So let's see what else we get here. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think the daily, I called it, who is this soulmate? You're confused because that maybe this is someone you've been waiting for. I mean, perhaps someone you've been waiting for. Um, all right. So it's going to change this. Hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, so Aries, you're waiting. This person shows up. They do sort of look like a soulmate of sorts. It could be an ex. It's a shock because you're not planning on this. You're not planning for this to happen. It's a maybe an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a king and a queen of coin. We have a king and a queen of wands. And then we have a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you're getting some information about someone. Now, I don't know if this is like an ex um, or someone coming back where you do need to release this energy once and for all. Um, clear your energy. Keep negative energy away from you as best as you can. Um, Mars being the greater malefic, ruling over Aries, the warrior, the fighter, the person that gets up and starts things and initiates things but there is a malefic or shadow side to mars which is anger and hostility frustration um possibly jealousy at times i don't think you're at war with yourself in this case i don't think you're at war with yourself at all um i think you've made up your mind three of wands is like I've already made up my mind to wait for the ship to arrive. Now, whether that's a new person or an existing person, you're sort of, you made up that your mind about this person either, either way. You're like, you know, you've already made a choice. You were already at the crossroads and you said, okay, no. So there is some kind of soulmate energy coming in here. Okay, Aries, thank you for watching and take care.